Hi. Um, this week's Wednesday Wisdom. Oh, wait. Before I get going too much further, let's talk about this. What do you think, guys? Give the video a like, and I'll just assume it's because you like my hair. Um, <clears throat> I, I got it cut today, and I had to make the, the choice to really just chop it all off because it was so dead and I didn't love it when I first got turned around I was like um and I flipped my part and I was like because I usually part my hair over here and I flipped my part and I was like all right cut it some more and then she got done and I was like all right it is not my favorite haircut but I am gonna rock it the best way I can um but I talked, you know, who doesn't talk to their hairdresser um, forever about all the things? And so, um, in addition, my daughter, who is eight, turning nine on the 23rd of May, um, is really, she and I have been having some challenging conversations about a lot of different stuff. Um, and one of those is that she she really wants to cut her hair and get it cut and colored for her birthday. And so that's our plan. And, and my girl at um, HD Fusion is going to do it. And so we were talking about what she wants and how she wants. And, and she was sharing some of the, the conversations she's had with, you know, some of her experiences around um, building confidence in her children. Um, and, and so I talk about that a lot and like helping them. You know, it's so important to me to raise good humans. <laughs> like, And there came a point very recently where I had a moment where I had to think about what if one of my kids grows up to not be a great human for whatever reason and I was like how am I going to reconcile that and like be proud and supportive and so um you know I'm working on that for myself not the point of the, of Wednesday wisdom but something I'm aware of um Thankfully, things have taken a turn and I, I don't think I'm raising any mean kids. Um, you know, I think I'm, I'm doing okay raising good humans overall. But Maris and I have been talking a lot about body image and um, things that people say. And, you know, part of the reason she has struggled with whether she originally was saying she wanted her hair cut like mine. And we talked a lot about how, like, you can do that if you want keep in mind that it's not going to look like mom's. It's going to look different because we have different hair and to get it closer to mom's, you would have to blow dry it and maybe heat style it once in a while. And, um, you know, you don't, I don't know if you're going to want to do that. And so she thought about it for a while, but even when she was really committed to getting her hair, um, cut like mom's, she had this worry in the back of her head about certain people in her life who were important to her and having had them say things that, you know, made her love something about herself less. And that was never the intention. It, there is nobody in her life who would do that intentionally. But maybe, maybe somebody that I don't know. But, um, you know, I know that the intentions are always pure and genuine. But not everybody recognizes what an impact it has on an eight-year-old when you say something like, oh, you know, they've just colored their hair and you say, I liked it better the other way. Oh my God. Who cares? She likes it better this way. That's what's important. I don't do that. I keep my mouth shut. But I try to, you know, we had a conversation the other night about, okay, so-and-so said this. And it made you feel like this. And... Is that true about you? Is that a message you're going to accept about yourself and kind of believe it about yourself? And she was like, kind of really thinking about that. And I said, here's a simpler question. Who do you trust? Do you trust you or do you trust her? And she was like, well, I trust me. I don't trust her at all. <laughs> there you go. Do I know that she'll remember that forever and never struggle? I, I mean, she's still going to struggle. She's going to have moments. But like, I feel like I chopped a big one at the knee and took a, you know, took a big, it's like growing roots, you know? I mean, like, 
her root grew a little deeper in her self-confidence and, and her, you know, the work she and I did around some of the things that were happening and how we resolved those in a positive way that led to more communication, which was awesome, you know, um, that built her, that, that grew her roots a little bit deeper. And, um, you know, I said to my hairdresser today, like, all I want to do for them is grow these roots that are so big. Nobody's going to come along and yank them out. Like, and when somebody tries and they're feeling really wiggly, they know to come home. And so that's my Wednesday wisdom. It got a little off track. I don't know. I don't have a name for it. Like, it's just an idea. Like, how do we build these roots for our kids? You know, how do we do that to combat negative messages that come from all over, from strangers, from media, from people um, they love sometimes, you know, and, and maybe even from us sometimes unintentionally because goodness knows, I don't always get it right. I do like to think that when I don't get it right, I go back and have the conversation and apologize if appropriate, but you know, that's just my goal of raising good humans. So have a great night.